So much of what we've studied is about diseases, and rightly so, but there's been much less attention on how do we optimize our health and our, our human performance. We can be looking to the elite athlete and trying to find out how on earth can they run like this and do so well. But the other side is we want the general community to be involved in the research so they have a bit of ownership in the outcome also. The vision for the Human Performance Alliance was created by a group of musculoskeletal bioengineers and scientists as well as uh, sports medicine practitioners. And the focus was really on discovering the fundamental principles of what allows each of us to function at our peak. The University of Oregon's contribution to the Alliance among the six institutions that form the Alliance is really in two areas. One is a focused moonshot on regenerative rehabilitation. The second part is an innovation hub that's based in the Bowerman Sports Science Center. And this is really on taking those fundamental discoveries and translating them into practical use in human patients. I'm working with the Wusai Human Performance Alliance and I'm integrating a shear sensor that was developed into footwear for female distance runners. Being able to measure shear force within the shoe would allow us to learn more about what's happening while the runner runs and then analyze their biomechanics and improve upon their efficiencies as a runner. All right, ready? Here we go. We know that running is super popular and it's great for cardiovascular health and mental health. Our overall goal is to find ways to reduce running-related injury. And in order to find those things, we have to understand what is being expected of the body when you're outside on your daily run. Everybody knows that exercise is good for you. Why do you need another study to say so? And I think one of the things that we're, we're able to identify is what kinds of physical exercise interventions will benefit specific muscle proteins the most. So the fact that there may be common mechanisms that both improve performance in elite athletes reduce injury risk in female athletes, but improve rehabilitation outcomes in older adults is really something that we're after, sort of this, this magic key that can unlock a lot of potential. So when people think about sports medicine, they typically think about using pins and screws to reconstruct an injured or damaged tissue. Regenerative medicine techniques are a new way to repair that tissue back to what it originally was rather than using metal or plastics to reconstruct that tissue or body part. If we're able to regenerate tissue and restore people back to their pre-injury health levels, that will be game-changing. Because of the support that we are receiving from the Wusai Alliance, it's allowing us to collaborate in ways that we always wanted to. And it's really the first time like since I've been at the university that we've actually been able to fully collaborate amongst like three disciplines to take technology that was built in a lab and bring it to fruition for an athlete. Of course, we want to study how to make athletic performance better. That's a, that's a really important goal. But the learnings we have from that work are really going to apply to everybody.